Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Cart Crazy. We're back on our Bandit series build. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. I think y'all are gonna be mad at me. Let me kind of explain my thought process behind all of this. I know I've been telling you I've got a lot of plans for this cart and I'm gonna custom make a lot of things and and that's all true. I, I did have a lot of plans for this. In fact, um, I would love to finish a lot of those plans, but unfortunately, I also have this other problem of when I see a good deal on Marketplace, I can't pass it up. So I currently have five golf carts and that's probably about three or four too many. So I've got to do something here. I've got to either hurry up and get a couple of them done or clean out some of the inventory. So I've decided I need to finish up the bandit. Unfortunately, it's not going to be in the way that I originally intended. So this cart has the original precedent body on it. I actually ordered the surprise that I was keeping from you, um, a tempo cowl and fascia and front bumper and all of that, and was going to convert this over to look more like an onward uh, with the LED headlights and all of that. So I actually have all of those parts with the exception of the headlights. And I was going to do that. I was going to build a custom front bumper maybe even a winch, um, kind of make this an all-purpose vehicle, not just cruising around the neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen, <laughs> believe it or not, in my neighborhood that require um, like help, um, believe it or not. So things like, you know, where a winch would come in handy, or I thought about making maybe a little snow plow for this one. I had a lot of ideas, but unfortunately, I've just got this, you know, quote unquote problem of um, buying all these carts. I've got one sitting right outside the door here uh, that we picked up. If you follow me on Facebook, you probably saw that. Um, I've got one I bought from the dealer, a TXT. I've got an old DS that I bought and I've got my personal cart sitting outside. So I've got a lot of things going on. So as much as I'd love to get all that done um, on this cart, unfortunately, I'm just, I'm just out of time. I'm, they're stacking up on me. I do this, you know, on the side as a hobby. So uh, the weekends are, <laughs> well, you all know how quick the weekends go. And when you're doing a project like this, they go even faster. So here's what we're going to do. This is the back seat kit uh, for this cart. This is a traditional uh, mods. Uh, I think they call it a flip four. And then I ordered the seat covers to match um, the seats that are on it now. So here's my thought process. I will get the back seat kit on. I'll get it cleaned up. It's kind of dirty because I've been using it. I was going to put a headlight in. I probably still will, but they're on back order right now. But here's a couple of things that I want to try to tackle today. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but my battery gauge is laying down in there. Um, the charger is just temporarily sitting in there. So what I'd like to do... Uh, obviously permanently mount that. That's a waterproof charger, so that can be um, permanently mounted as an onboard charger. I want to cut this hole bigger and put our battery gauge there. And then I was going to do something really cool with the, with the charger, and we'll see if we get time for that today, but I'll show you what I want to do. So I bought this um, set up uh, off of Amazon. This is a NOCO, um, and basically the charger can plug in to one end and then you can mount this wherever you'd like. So you can literally um, drill a hole right here and put it right there. I've seen some people put it on the side, which I don't care for that. It looks kind of funny on the side. Um, but my thought was, why not try to put it where the original uh, you know, receptacle was? Of course, it's a little too big, so we'll have to do some modifying there. But I think that's what I want to do. And then um, get the charger permanently mounted in. So then all you have to do is just grab an extension cord and plug it in. That's what I, um, basically the way it is set up on my card. I really like that. So if I can get those things buttoned up, get the back seat, get the seats recovered and, and on there, um, 
This cart most likely will still get a headlight. Like I said, it's just a matter of uh, finding one that's not on back order at the moment. But if we can get that charger set up and our um, battery indicator, whew, there we go, major, major brain fog there for a second. If we can get that going today, I think I'm going to be um, content enough and happy enough with it that uh, I can put it for sale. And I got plenty of people in the neighborhood always looking, so it'll probably go quick. This has definitely been a labor of love, and it's really sad to see it go. But I just, uh, I don't know. I, the fun for me is getting them done. And then, you know, once they're done, of course, this one isn't exactly the way I wanted it. But once they're done, it's kind of like I'm itching to start another project. So uh, I think that's kind of the somewhat plan for today. So let's get this back seat kit on. Probably not going to film that. Um, you guys have seen me put back seat kit on probably a half a dozen times. You've seen me reupholster. If you haven't, you can go back in the playlist and check that out. But definitely want to get that going and get that on. And then when we get a little closer, I will show you more detail on how I'm going to get this charger and everything set up in there. And that's basically what I want to focus on today is uh, that custom charging port. So I'm going to shut the camera off for a little bit. We'll get the back seat on and then we'll, we'll pick back up and go from there. All right, got the back seat all on. That went pretty quick. Um, wife came out and helped me with the uh, reupholstery, which always goes a lot better with two people. Um, got that all done, so the back seat kit is on. So I want to dig into this um, onboard charger, and we talked about it a little bit. It's been a couple days. I'm picking back up on filming, so I may be repeating myself here just a little bit. But, um, you know, I could just have this where you run the cord through and plug it in, which isn't terrible. And, you know, that would probably work, but, uh, did buy one of those NOCO adapters. And this is a, just an extra kick panel that I have laying around to kind of show you, but it just about fits in there. If we put two screws here and uh, might have to get creative on the top here, maybe with a, a bolt with a fender washer on the back or something, but, I think that's a lot easier. Just plug an extension cord in and then let me walk this back over there so I can kind of show you. So that's what it would kind of look like in the cart. Um, super easy, like I said. Um, but rather than have this cord run in here and have a bunch of cords in here, I would probably hide it. There's space in between the body and, uh, well, actually, this is loose. I can just show you. Um, there's space in there to run a cord. So I can actually run that cord around through here and um, it would come out right here then into, into the charger. So super easy to do that. And then this one, um, you know, it's got this Anderson plug on there, which is kind of the way I was charging it temporarily, but that's a lot of extra wires. So I would just take the old potato slicer and cut that right about there, make myself two new ends and have everything permanent then. So no plugging and unplugging literally uh, needs a charge. Just throw your extension cord on there and be done with it. So that's the plan for that. And then I've got my battery indicator. I'm going to use the original um, slot like I normally do and just cut it out a little bigger and then pop that in there so we'll have a nice battery gauge on the dash. So, sound like a plan? I hope so. Here we go. All right, uh, I think I forgot to hit record again a couple times, or at least once, but um, did get the battery gauge uh, hole cut out for that. Got my wire ran uh, underneath the floorboard. Of course, that comes back to our two studs, and I was kind of messing around with this NOCO. I hope you can see that. Um, it basically just fits right in there. I used the three screws that they provided. Um, I thought I was going to have to do some finagling and some trimming, but it looks like it's going to work just fine. Uh, the only thing is that cord comes through. I got to get some light in here. Hang on a second. There, maybe you can see that a little better now. So I got that uh, in with the three screws. And then like I was saying, the only thing that really um, got to be cautious of, um, so this is the backside of that NOCO plug. And um, 
it's got kind of an angle to it, which is fine because it comes right through here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a loop just because I don't want to make that tight bend in there. And then all that cord is gonna tuck behind the plastic and come out this hole right here on this side so we can plug everything in. So plugging right along here should be done in no time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to the length that I think I need. Put new ends on here. We should be in good shape. And I'm not sure what gauge of wire this is, but I have ends for both six or eight gauge. So we're covered either way, thankfully. Yeah, definitely. Definitely six gauge, or I'm sorry, eight gauge. So we'll crimp our ends on both of these for the battery charger. All right, I think I've got everything buttoned up. Uh, got our charging plug port in. Um, that went really well. I thought that was gonna be more of a kind of a custom. Um, cleaned up all the wiring in here, put our coating on, keep the wires protected, got everything zip tied. Just a nice clean battery compartment. Um, I really like that. I don't like it when you open that and there's just wires everywhere and you don't know what goes to what. So just the way I do things, did get the battery gauge in, like I said, back seat kit is on. And now it's just a matter of a couple of odds and ends things. I got to uh, button up these rockers yet. I got to put some fasteners on there. Just looking at that and then uh, give it a good wash. And uh, we should be ready to get uh, get pictures and get this for sale. Let's turn the battery on and um, check our gauge, 97%, that looks good. Yeah, perfect. Well, I think that's gonna conclude the Bandit series. Thank you all so much for coming along. This truly has been a special build for me, taking it all the way down to the frame and basically replacing every nut, bolt, and piece of plastic on this cart. It's time to go to a new home and start on another project. I know we didn't go as far as I had hoped on this one, but sometimes time restraints and my compulsive buying get in the way. So thanks for coming along. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.